The August 2016 Fire PO video will focus on the 2.5 inch attack line. If we are stretching from the apparatus and walking to the right or towards the rear, the ears and nozzles will be placed over the right shoulder. If we are stretching and walking towards the left, the ears will be placed over the left shoulder. The firefighter begins the stretch by pulling down the three ears. Now reach in and get the nozzle even with the top two bites of hose. Take the nozzle and the top two bites and make them even with the ears. This bundle of hose is now placed over the appropriate shoulder. For this scenario, the line is being stretched towards the rear of the apparatus, so the bundle is placed over the right shoulder. Make sure you have good control of the hose line by getting the bundle to hang down at least waist level. This will ensure that you will not lose the line off the back side of your shoulder during the stretch. Notice here the firefighter has a well distributed amount of hose in the front and back as he walks away from the apparatus. This allows for an easy stretch between cars and around objects. The green painted areas on the hose line are reference points to the midpoint of each 50 foot section of hose. As you can see, firefighter duty is in control of 75 feet of the hose line. As he approaches his target, he decides where he wants the nozzle and drops the load off his shoulder. Find the two green marks, pull them out, and walk them back away from the nozzle until the line is stretched out. Notice the driver engineer or officer walking toward the target with the next coupling in his hand. As the firefighter stretches the green marks back, the driver engineer or officer walks toward the target with the next coupling or couplings depending on how short the stretch is. With the entire line stretched in place, the nozzle and as many available couplings brought forward to the target, now the firefighter and driver work to place the attack on top of the supply. This is performed by standing at opposite ends of the loops on the ground and working together to flip each loop back on top of the supply side of the hose line. The following pictures show the firefighter and driver engineer working to flip the loops on top of the supply part of the hose. When all sections are flipped back to achieve attack on top of supply, this is how the finished stretch will look. When the line is charged, you will have hose on top of hose. We just took the disadvantages of the two and a half and made them work for us. Weight, force, and friction are now on our side. The hose line is set up for an easy advance. The first 40 feet or so of hose is not even touching the ground. Once that is advanced, we have more hose on top of hose. The attack on top of supply being advanced in 25 foot increments. At 110 psi, the nozzle reaction is more than a single firefighter should be able or capable of handling. Back the pressure down to 85 or 90 psi and that's plenty of pressure. Now let's view some live footage to bring this all together. Engine 8 is arrival on scene and they will now demonstrate the correct deployment of the two and a half inch pre-connect.
taking an extra couple of seconds to properly setting up their line makes for a successful attack with a two and a half.